Hi everyone, welcome to today's reaction video. My name is Michelle and I make reaction videos here on my channel. And if that is something that you like, something that interests you, please support me by subscribing and liking this video. I thank you in advance. So today, I'm going to watch and react to Moving Episode 18. And just a quick recap from Episode 17. Everybody is at school now and uh, most of our characters are in danger. Number one, Juwon. Juwon is in danger because he couldn't regenerate fast enough for that giant guy who is beating him right now and the cleaning lady is dead the temporary teacher is dead and Mion found out or heard that uh, the North Korean agents having those ability or superpowers were Dong Shik's fault so that's what that's what he said and uh, Mion heard that and meanwhile uh, Bong Suk and Wisu are actually out of the school and uh, fighting against this flying guy which also connected to the North Korean agents who is able to fly and also kind of like found out that Mong Sook can fly and he so is like can uh, regenerate also like his dad. Now uh, we found out that Mong Sook is indeed can have those senses just like his mom so he can fly like Tushik his dad and he can also have those super senses hearing senses I'm not sure the other senses but he can definitely have those senses hearing senses he was trying to save Hisu and we kind of like prove that he has those senses as well so I'm excited to see what's in episode 18 so without further ado let's get to let's get to shall we do you know why we... Yeah, this is what uh, she heard, right? It's Kim Dishik's fault. I don't know why or how. It's because of him. Because of Kim Dushik. That's the North Korean agents have ability as well. Oh, this is uh, Kisu and... Uh, uh, hand over the... Oh, shucks. It was Mian. Thank you, Mian. Is he dead? Get inside. Oh. oh my god, Juwon! Oh, nice, remember, me and... <laughs> oh, also... He, she is using now all her senses. Come on, Mian! Well, Mian was uh, like a previous agent, so she's really good. And uh, she graduated with high grades, flying colors, so... Don't underestimate her! That's what I'm saying. Ugh. Can you confirm what's her, uh, his super? Nice shooting. You're gifted, aren't you? I almost died. Yeah, almost like a headshot or something. What's his ability? He can... I had a silencer. I love him. I love her. She's the real MVP, like the comment said. I have a story to tell about my son. No, I don't have time. I need to find my. I need to find my son. Let's go, Mian. How did the bolt ricochet to that metal? Oh, she's so good. She's so good. Okay, Injong, I believe she's the real MVP. <laughs> the teacher is like surprised. How did you do that? Oh, poor Kiso. I hate him, but I used. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Choi. Mr. Choi should escort Kiso out of the school. Don't leave the kid like that. <laughs> Well, Kisu is not a good listener. Oof. Did he find a file? Oh, what are you going to do? Oh my god. Your curiosity will kill your kid. What are you looking for? Who's crying? Ah, the, the classmate. Oh. I came to get the memory. Be quiet, be quiet. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was wondering where, where was she? Mm, they are, uh, how many agents are there? Still three. One with Gang Hoon, 
and these two. John, please be alive. He couldn't regenerate fast enough. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, what happened to Gohan? Sorry. Where's Juan? To. <laughs> oh no, he's so young. Oh, what's with you? <laughs> You're a lot like someone I know, Tushik. You have a father, don't you? Do you know him? Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since Bong Sook heard Kim Do Shik's name. Where, what's going to happen here? What happened to Kim Do Shik? Oh, shocks. Yeah, he knows for sure. Oh, flashback 1994. Hmm. What really happened to their leader? Because they said the leader died because of cardiac arrest. Did Dushik really kill kill him? Yeah. Remember the news that this is episode 18. The first time we saw Dushik was in episode 8. Now we're seeing him again in 18. What are the odds? Okay. So how... Uh, because he said it was Dushik's fault that they became like that. How? Where are the guards? Where are the soldiers? Nobody's. <laughs> oh. Hey! Do she go? Kim, do she. Kim, dude, they are so awesome. They're so cool. Mian is so cool. Do she do? I love him so much. <laughs> He's so good looking. Uh, if they're fast enough, they can actually hit him. I love this so much. What's the point of using the silencer if they are not? They're using armor lights. Oh! How did that happen? Well, he has a very good shooting skills. Oh my god! <laughs> James Bond or what? <laughs> James Bond or Lloyd Forger? If you watch the spy family, it's Lloyd, <laughs> the spy. <laughs> oh, shucks. Yeah, he can do that because he can fly, basically. His movements is very unpredictable. That's why they couldn't catch him or something. Oh my god, I love him so much. I love his jacket. So... What's the mission here? Because it's already uh, the leader is already dead. That's a cool stream. <laughs> oh my god! Too much airtime for Dushik. I <laughs> can't get enough. <laughs> I love him so much, so much. So much. I love that really. <laughs> it's a treat for us. Sorry, it's sad, but it's a treat for us. It's a Dushik airtime. It's Dushik Kim Dushik show. The title should be Kim Dushik show. <laughs> oh, so cool! My God, so many like wallpaper potential. <laughs> 
for Jin Sung or something. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Wallpaper potential, thumbnail potential. <laughs> I'm going crazy. So, did the leader die or just pretending to be dead and blame the South? Oh, this is him. Oof. Ah. <gasps> what kind of superpower does he have? What? They said because of him. Because of him what? Don't go in there. Why? What's in there? You shouldn't be able to speak. Oh. But, but he's alive now, right? I didn't shoot any of their vital points. There isn't much time. Go to the hospital and save those who can survive. Go! Oh, this is the leader. He is sickly. Is he alive? Basically, he's in bed. Because the news broke out. Oh no! Do she close the door? Do she? <laughs> That's his finger. Oh, you still have another. <gasps> so he really did. Kill the leader. Not do a shake. Oh my god! See, I told you the South kind of like Mr. Mean and the others kind of like put the blame to him. They kind of like say it's very incompetent for them. Have you already forgotten why you have your son? Because they know much to do shik, so they kind of like want some soldier with ability as well. Sacrifices are inevitable. Because they said, remember, that the leader died of natural cause, but Mr. Min said do shik killed him. And that's what's Mount Suri. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, look at him. Oh, they need to jump. They need to jump here. Oh. What kind of final test is this? Good luck. Jump. Oh. My god. He can fly. Mm, that's so scary. It's either you jump, you die, or they will shoot you, you die. Oh, money. Check. Oh, he's also crying. <sighs> Just jump. Just jump. They will kill you anyway. So that's why some of them have the same power or something, right? Is he the only one who can fly? Oh. Well, the reason they he says that it's Dushik's fault because the leader said they are very incompetent versus the one with ability. It's like one versus 100 with ability. Now, them having the ability will also be compete with South Korean soldiers or agents with ability. So, they... They don't need soldiers like normal soldiers. They need ones with ability as well. However, I don't I'm not sure if they're going to explain how they were able to acquire the ability. Did just get some genes, blood, something from someone with ability? Oh, he can see him fly. Oh, but that's just really hard. And the others the mountain man, the giant man. 
still can't control it. My comrades with me are dead. All dead? Where are the mountain? Selection. I only wanted to become a guard. To live without hunger. Yeah. This isn't training. Yeah, they need to find. No, that was really intense. Extreme. I mean, Tushik was also doing like what his order to do, and he said I didn't shoot them in vital parts. The old chart operation. Oh, this was the yeah the event. Uh, this was the day that he was gone, right? Tushik. Naju was here. Uh, Jinchan was here. And we were wondering where... Where was he after this? Tushik. What happened? What happened? Tushik. <laughs> Tushik. What happened? <laughs> I kind of like... <laughs> I declined. Where is he now? If I decided to do something else right now. <laughs> I can take that gun. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No one can stop him. But he's protecting his family. Putting you aside, your wife and son can't be. <laughs> they know. The wife and the son. <laughs> Mr. Min, you evil. They know that the North is actually going after Dushik. Yeah, constantly. Don't trust Mr. Bead. This is not the last assignment. I don't believe him for one second here. Oh, oh so he went back again? This is a trap! This is a trap, Dushik! So is it the North Korea? Do you think the North Korea have, have him? They have him? Dushik! Oh, this is the cleaning lady, my god! Whoa, there you are. <gasps> you can fly. Tushik. Uh, super speed. This guy has super speed. Ah. Ah. No, don't. station here that day were killed oh that's why I said they were incompetent but they were actually executed I see I'll bring you okay 1994 and then 2003 right he died. Yeah, that was the first time. What about the 2003 one when he came back? By himself. Nice. Oh, he's, she's good. Be quiet, you dude! Potential hostage. Potential hostage. I want like. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Yeah, it's really, really good. I love her. Please, Juwan, can you regenerate first? 
Mm, do you know my father? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let go of the net first. I caught him. Hmm. <laughs> just. Just. Get off that net. I caught him. I said I caught him. Then make me. Mm. <laughs> oh, Dushik, that's a soldier. A soldier with good fighting skills and training and all that. But you just uh, awaken your ability. Mm. The Dushik is just. Bongso! Bongsok is a student. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take after your mom. I take after my mom. Oh. <laughs> Go! What are you going to do? I told you I take after my mom. Do something, Risu. Use your shot put. What's that? What's that? What's that? The shot put thing. Go! There's a bowling ball behind you! So this is what we used to stream for. Go! The bowling ball behind you. Yes! <laughs> That's the training. <laughs> I love these kids. <laughs> that was the training for. <laughs> Like punching. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> nice, nice. Teamwork. Make the dream work. <laughs> nice. Good job. Oh, Gong Hoon! What the? No strength. Are you not him? <laughs> oh, you are him. Mm, who are you? No! Go, Gangwon is like has a strength and agility. He basically can fly or something. Yeah, he has agility, but doesn't have training for the fighting with these soldiers and mother fathers. Come on, Jeman, young and fast. Come on, Jeman, save your son. Shit. Ah. Uh, These are students, what are you doing? Uh, speed isn't everything, you know. Fuck me. Where is Mian? Oh, uh, what about the kids? Kisu and the girl. I need to check on our comrades. Make sure to get the teacher and find the files. Where is Mr. Choi? And those. Be safe. Be careful. What was that? Was that? Ah. Uh, because he can fly and he survived like this. They are still up there, or what? And how long did it take him? So he kind of like have like regeneration, right? Oh, do not feel pain. 
He believes in him. Well, he believes in everyone, especially his comrades. Come on. I believe in you. We believe in you. He said, don't feel pain. I mean, the emotion like behind that is like beyond revenge. I understand that. I understand that. Especially to those soldiers who were killed or executed during the 1994 heist or something. So it's beyond revenge for them. It's really their whole life. <laughs> kind of like you're in a position where you understand both sides. You know. It makes you... Like, everybody's right, basically. But it's just that you have to have, like, something in balance here. But there's always... I'm saying, basically, they are just soldiers following their leaders' assignments, missions, commands, instructions. Just like Mr. Mean. Mr. Mean is, like, heartless evil. And then the le their leader is same, right? We're gonna be watching you. That's what he said before. So they're just all basically just following those heartless people uh, instructions. But they are on both right. Um, they are both right on the same spectrum. Because the North Korean agents are kind of like doing this out of duty and out of respect, loyalty to the soldiers who died. And then Dushik is just following the order from his mean, uh, Mr. Mean because he's threatening the safety of his family and all that. So they're just like following this crooked leader, <laughs> leaders of them. Uh, well, Mean doesn't need the eyeglasses. Oh. That's the cleaning lady. This room. He said he needs to check on. Mm, that's the cleaning lady. Because me and said I killed two. He needs to check on Pong Sook. Mm -hmm. So we can assume that Dushik is uh uh the Juwon. Juwon, yeah. Aww. Takes time. Oh, takes time for him to regenerate. Look at that jaw, broken jaw. Mm. The phone is in the trash, trash can. So yeah, we can assume that Tushik is in North Korean jail, prison, or something dungeon. <laughs> That's why. Yup, say, uh, are you okay? Yes. Remember when he does the hot oil, boiling oil, and then he puts his hand in that and it took time for it to heal or regenerate or something I'm not sure if it's lacks of practice or because of old age or something his jaw was like broken or something uh. <laughs> he's actually really lo looking for his comrade the one is in this room also like died Mian was so cool that time <laughs> right he was so cool 
yeah. Like I said, we kind of like sympathize on both sides. So we kind of like understand how he feels seeing the comrades dead here. They're not the bad people or bad, bad people. They're just like having different assignments. And still blaming Dushik for this. Is Dushik gonna show up? In here? In the school? Or what? Ugh, we don't care about the Republic's respect. We will never know about that because we're dead. Unless they'll take care of the family. I don't know. Calling the leader. Calling... Come with your glasses on. Hmm? What does that mean? He will see the two students there and they will he will make them Oh Jesus Christ, who is this? What does the glasses on mean? Is this too chic? Glasses on no this is not Why is he in the trunk? Is this Cyclops? Jesus Christ. Ah, he has like Naju's scales. He can see through the walls. They need to find Mion. Oh, it's the end of this episode. Okay, so I'm guessing that that guy's ability is to see through the walls just like Naju. That's why he needs those glasses on. They need to find Mion. They could use me on as like hostage or something. I don't know what else what else do they want from Dushik. Maybe they want something from Mr. Min. So we could say that Dushik is in North Korea being in prison or in jail because we haven't seen him in a while. And then probably Bong Sook and Hisu will run home after that incident with that flying guy. So there are only two episodes left. I'm not sure if Tushik will be able to catch up with them at school. And how is he going to, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we need more context on Tushik's situation. So I don't know what's the leader's ability the one with like no finger or like half finger so i don't know what's his ability yeah okay so there are so many loose ends that we need to tie here and we only have two episodes left well anyway <laughs> i have so many questions as always <laughs> well in the meantime i hope you support my channel by subscribing and liking this video let me know what you think about this episode in the comment down below and i will see you in the next one thank you bye